Thanks for watching the contributor segment of the Inner Source Commons Learning Path. With this section, you've learned about the contributor role, the lifeblood of Inner Source. The contributor brings valuable external input to the host team's projects. In this section, you learned more about um, how to find opportunities to make contributions to the host team. We've shown you what a sharing mindset looks like, and we've also shown you within the contributor ethos which kind of behavior is expected from you and what you can do in order to have a smoother contribution process. Even given the right mindset, habit and ethos, there are still a few details that can keep you from contributing successfully. Thus, we've covered these nuts and bolts in an additional segment. Before you start, you likely want to know what the motivation and benefits are, so we went over the individual benefits of making an inner source contribution. We also went over the team benefits as well as the motivations from a corporate level to roll out inner source projects and to allow people to make contributions. We hope that you've enjoyed watching these videos and we hope that you could take away valuable input for your own inner source journey. With that, we would like to invite you to also watch the other segments of this video series. But we would also like to invite you to join the InnoSource Commons community where you can communicate with other experts and exchange um, on your experiences and learn from what others have encountered. And with that, we would like to wish you to live long and have prosperous projects.